Meta is on a roll this week and today they are publishing a new video segmentation solution which is called SAM2 which is a new version of a video segmentation ability capability that they launched a few months ago. So this is very interesting and very useful for many use cases and I will cover them at the end. Um, I usually don't cover much stuff related to videos although I think it is very important for those of you who are doing especially paid ads or running ads or doing anything related to video editing. I uploaded a few days ago a video about uh, Gemini, the LLM by Google and its ability to analyze videos and analyze ads which is very powerful and very useful for media buyers or creative directors or marketers in general. It allows you to do competitor research or come up with new angles or even just speed up the editing process and the creative process. And this is another tool that can be very useful. Again, there are many use cases that are not related necessarily to marketing, like medical related use cases, surveillance related use case, autonomous driving use cases, etc. But today I will just, just want to show you the capabilities. Hopefully this video won't get uh, crickets like all the other videos uh, in which I cover stuff related to video and, and video editing and basically analysis of things related to creative. But um, I'm just going to share with you what I find interesting, hoping that you find it interesting as well. So yeah, let's cover the demo. Um, this is the landing page. They have a blog post about the capabilities over here. Um, also a research paper. I'm guessing most of you won't be interested to understand how exactly this is built, but I will share it in the video description. The bottom line is you can upload any videos that you would like and this powerful AI is able to recognize and isolate specific objects in the video and then you can remove them, blur them, do whatever you want. This is actually very interesting because just yesterday I was in the toilet scrolling in my feed, uh, in my Instagram feed and I saw a, a, a reel that basically had the most simple guy throwing a basketball and the comment was like the, the girl who was filming the, the video told him how are you going to make this viral if you're just doing a layup which is basically when you can't take the ball the basketball and just throw it to the towards the, the basket and funny enough the reel was viral I guess it had almost two million views and the thing that grabbed my attention and probably also grabbed the attention of other people was, wasn't the layout, which is like a, the most basic basketball move, but the fact that they highlighted the guy and they highlighted the ball. So everything was dark. The whole scene, the background was dark and only the ball and the guy who threw the ball had this type of, of color around him. So let me show you like something similar to this. And this probably, I mean, it, it grabbed my attention, it probably grabbed other people's attention as well. And this is actually, these small filters or uh, is stuff that I'm doing in my ads. When I'm running ads, I try to create a pattern disruption, at least in the hook. So sometimes just opening with black and white or just co covering or coloring an object in pink. So this is why um, I think this is very useful. And let's just cover a few examples. So let me show you few more examples. So this is an example that they provide out of the box. Basically you can select any objects that you would like. Let me start over. This is the current interface that they're offering. So starting over, they invite you to click on an object in the video. So let's assume the most obvious is to click on the ball. So we are now tracking the ball. And once we hit the track object button, we, you can see that we are tracking the ball. Wherever the ball moves, it is highlighted. Now, what we can do, let's pause this. What we can do, we can decide to erase the ball and you can see it's, it's a, it's a real-time rendering. So it's changing the ball as we speak. So change it to emoji, pixelating the ball, 
adding the overlay let's go back to the original now we can also remove the background so let's say we want to create a gradient of the background but as you can see the ball is still constant let's change it to an emoji let's test blurring everything and only the ball would be as usual now this is a, an example that comes out of the box so you might think that it looks better than uh, use cases that you actually upload so I decided to upload my own uh, short video I just went to YouTube I searched for um, a dog race which I assume that it will be like a few dogs running very fast and maybe the algorithm would find it hard to recognize which dog am I referring to so I uploaded I uploaded it here you can see the first scene from the dogs race okay so this is the first scene now let me select a specific dog and we will see if it's able to um, track the dog accurately so let's wait until the dogs start the race and let's say we want to track this guy so I just click here and you can see it was able to find out like figure out the whole dog without any mistakes I, we can also add another object let's add this object as well this dog and now we want to track these objects so you can see it tracks them the dogs now it's, it goes to the beginning it tracks the dogs and this way you can isolate the dogs or if you would like you can pixelate blur them change colors whatever you would like let's see if i'm able to change so edit selection what exactly want to do this track objects let's remove this I'm not sure exactly how I changed let's clear this select to add areas on the object or remove areas okay so this is the dog now we wanna never mind let's not waste time on this day I wanted to show you how I, I blur this guy or remove the background but as you saw in this example this is pretty straightforward I'm not sure exactly how did I get to this menu or is it a bug or an error what is the reason that I don't that I'm not able to adjust this let's try again never mind not crucial long story short you just come to this uh, URL aidemos.meta.com and segment anything too which is this place and over here you have many demos that you can you can see and mess around with these are the data sets if you want more information or more um, demonstrations and you can also upload your own things here are more examples so we have this baby you can see over here they are annotating a few different objects so we have the the baby and I'm not sure if it's a piece of chicken or what exactly is this ah no it's like a, a drumstick and this is a drum so you can see how it follows the objects pretty accurately yeah I guess that's it for today guys I hope you find it useful I think that this is very useful especially for marketers I mean setting aside people who are doing professional work in medical fields or other fields but for me as a marketer I believe this is very useful especially if you're doing if you're running paid ads and if you're creating creatives if you have any ideas or any use cases that you would like to explore with this uh, algorithm so please leave them in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video obviously please like and subscribe and if you didn't please feel free to share your feedback and until next time keep on automating